Hi class, welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to solve problems involving angle of elevation and angle of depression. So, itong video na to guys ay application ng ating previous video about solving right triangles sa kung saan ginamit natin yung SOKATOA okay, para mahanap yung different parts ng ating triangle. So, define muna natin yung angle of elevation and depression. The angle of elevation is the angle between a horizontal line from the observer and the line of sight that is above the horizontal line. While the angle of depression is the angle between the horizontal line from the observer and the line of sight to an object that is below the horizontal line. So, ano bang ibig sabihin nun? So, let's say if a person stands and looks up okay, to an object, so the angle of elevation is the angle between the horizontal line and the line of sight. So, since yung line of sight natin is above the horizontal line, so yung nabuo nating uh, angle dito guys, ang tawag dyan is angle of elevation. Okay? So, doon naman sa baba, a person stands and looks down okay, to an object. So, the angle form between the horizontal line and ng ating uh, line of sight is yung angle of depression. Since the line of sight is below the horizontal line. Naintindihan ba guys? Okay, so summarize natin yung difference between the angle of elevation and depression. So, angled labeled 1 indicates the angle of elevation. It is the angle by which the ground observer's line of vision, okay, ito yun, yung color red, must be raised or elevated with respect to the horizontal to sight an object at B. Okay? While angle labeled 2, Natin, is the angle of depression. It is the angle by which an observer at this line of vision, ito yung line of vision natin, yung color red, must lowered or depressed with respect to the horizontal to sight an object doon sa ating A. Okay? So guys, yung angle of elevation and angle of depression naman is may common. Okay, so ano ba yung common nila? Yun yung kanilang measurement. So, in this diagram, yung measurement ng ating angle 1 is congruent doon sa measurement ng ating angle 2. Okay, so meaning, yung angle of elevation natin is equal doon sa angle of depression. Since, kung nawapansin nyo naman, these two angles forms an alternate interior angle. Tama? So, let's have example number 1. From the top of a vertical cliff, 40 meter high, the angle of depression of an object that is level with the base of the cliff is 34 degrees. So, how far is the object from the base of the cliff? So, ang first step natin dito guys is we need to sketch yung ating problem para mas maintindihan natin. Okay? So, una yung ating vertical cliff which is 40 meter high. So, let's say ito yun. Ito yung ating cliff. So, ang height niya daw is 40 meters. Okay? So, the angle of depression of an object that is level with the base of the cliff. So, meron tayong object guys na naka-level doon sa base ng ating cliff. So, ang angle of depression daw natin is 34 degrees. Okay, so kung depression yan, ibig sabihin, yung observer is nasa taas ng ating cliff. So kung ito yung ating uh, horizontal line, then ang ating line of sight is nandito, going dun sa ating object, let's say ito yung O. So yung nabuo nating angle dyan is 34 degrees. Okay, so kung 34 degrees yung ating angle of depression, yung angle of elevation natin dito sa baba, is also 34 degrees. Okay? 
So, ang problem natin is how far is the object from the base of the cliff? So, ang pinapahanap is yung ating base. Okay? So, next step natin is identify natin ano bang gagamitin natin formula doon sa ating Sokatoa. Since meron tayong right triangle. Okay? So, ang reference angle natin dito guys is yung 34 degrees. So, based sa ating 34 degrees, yung ating 40 meters is the opposite side. Then, yung ating x is the adjacent side. Okay? So, kung meron tayong O and A, so meaning ang gagamitin natin is yung TOA or yung ating tangent 34 degrees. Okay? So, which is equal kay opposite which is 40 meters and yung ating adjacent na x. Okay? Then, to solve for x, so pwede natin pagpalitin yan. So, x is equals to 40 meters over tangent 34 degrees. Okay? So, pag dinivide niyan, guys, 40 meters divided by tangent 34, that is equals to 59.30 meters. So, the distance between the object and nung uh, base ng ating cliff is 59.30 meters. Nakuha? So, let's have example number 2. So, Libra Skite is flying above a field at the end of 65 meters of string. If the angle of elevation to the kite measured 70 degrees, how high is the kite? Okay, so ang pinapahanap is yung altitude ng ating kite. So, para mas ma-visualize natin yung problem, sketch natin. So, let's say si Libra is nagpapalipad daw ng saranggola. Okay? So, yung string natin is uh, 65 meters. So, kung ito yung ating kite. Then, the angle of elevation to the kite measured 70 meters. So, kung ito yung ating string, it represents the line of sight. Then, kung ito yung ating horizontal, yung angle of elevation na 70 degrees ay nandito. Okay? So, ang problem natin is gaano raw kataas yung ating kite. Okay? So, ang next step natin is kailangan ma-identify natin yung formula using Sokatoa. Okay? So, kung ito yung height ng ating kite, so, uh, this angle forms a right angle. Okay? So, ang reference angle natin dito, guys, is yung 70 degrees. Okay? So, base case 70, yung x natin represents the opposite side. Then, yung 65 meters natin, since uh, siya yung opposite ng ating right angle, yung 65 meters is the hypotenuse. Okay? So, kung meron tayong opposite and meron tayong hypotenuse, that is under ng ating so. Okay? Ng ating sine ratio. So, using so, we have sine 70 equals opposite, yun yung x, over hypotenuse, which is 65 meters. Okay, so to solve for x, or the height of nung ating kite, multiply lang natin both side of the equation by 65 meters, para makancel to. So, ang x natin ngayon is equals to... 65 meters times sine 70. So, that is uh, 61.08 meters. Okay? So, uh, the height nung, uh, nung, or yung altitude ng ating kite is equals to 61.08 meters. Nakuha, guys? So, let's have another example. For an airplane at an altitude of 1,200 meters, the angle of depression to a building on the ground measures 28 degree. 
So, find the distance from the plane to the building. Okay, so sketch natin yung problem. Una, may airplane daw tayo na merong altitude na 1,200. So, drawing tayo ngayon. So, ang height nito or yung altitude nito is 1,200 meters. Then, meron tayong building sa ground. Okay? Then, yung angle of depression daw natin from the plane to the ground is 28 meters. Ah, 28 degrees. Tama? So, ngayon, kung 28 degrees yung ating angle of depression, yung angle of elevation natin dito is also 28 degrees. So, ang problem natin is Find the distance from the plane to the building. So, ang pinapahanap sa atin is ito. Okay? So, ang reference angle natin dito guys is yung 28 degrees. And according kay 28 degrees, yung 1,200 meters is yung ating opposite side. And yung x natin is um, opposite ng ating, hypot ng ating right angle, meaning yung x natin is the hypotenuse. Tama? So, kung meron tayong opposite and hypotenuse, so, ang gagamitin natin formula is yung so, which is sine 28 degrees equals the opposite side, which is 1,200 meters over hypotenuse, which is x. Okay? So, to solve for x, pwede nating pagpalitin to guys. So, that is x equals 1,200 meters over sine 28 degrees. Okay? So, pag dinivide natin yan, 1,200 meters divided by sine 28, that is equals to 2,556.07 meters. So, ito na ngayon yung distance uh, from the plane to the building. Naiintindihan ba guys? So this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!